Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're seeing me for the first time, my name is Jada. Do well to like and subscribe to this video. If you are a family member, you know it already. I love you guys so much. Like so, 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 so much, okay? Yep. All right, you guys. From my experience today, don't forget to like this video, please. Before I go on, for, don't forget to like, subscribe if you're seeing my channel for the first time. So before I go on with this video today, you guys, I'll be sharing this from my experience okay like five untold things you shouldn't do in the philippines like five okay for foreign students when you're coming take note of these five things that you shouldn't do i just picked only five there are a lot but i want to share just five things that i think are, are really really important and you shouldn't do them when you come here first of all is to not insult the country do not insult the filipinos you guys this is from my experience so I think sometime last year, beginning of last year, I can't remember the month, but I made a video, right? And from the title, I said that Philippines is a poor and dirty country. Even though I wasn't insulting the country, I was talking about something. You guys, they came for me. Filipinos came for me. See, up to today that I'm filming this video, you guys, I still receive comments from that video. It's almost two years. Next year now, it's going to be two years since I filmed that video. So they came for me. They kept some people were insulting me in the comment section some people were telling me so many things other people that got to watch the video understood that i wasn't really insulting the country i gave that title because i wanted you guys to click and understand the message and pass it if i don't give that title you guys will not click so i put that title they clicked and they were insulting me see you guys don't insult the country filipinos love their country so much like they don't want you to insult they don't want to in fact if you try to insult, you're going to see them in your comment section telling you, go back to your country. If you're going to insult Philippines, go back to your country. They don't want you here. Okay? So the first thing you shouldn't do when you come to the Philippines is don't insult the country. Okay? Don't insult the people as well. They don't want to hear that. Worst part is when you're making videos and you're saying it. So don't do that. Okay? Secondly, I'm going to say choose your friends wisely. You guys, I cannot overemphasize this now when i talk about friends i'm not talking about the filipinos oh, filipinos they don't really have problem you could actually meet good people and they would be your friends i'm talking about your fellow nigerians now from my experience choose your friends wisely don't choose people that would say nasty things about you okay like when you talk about this it's just a lot the rate of the gossiping everything that goes on in the country in fact it's just like people like nigerians form a kind of little community and they just attack the person they don't like see it's jealousy right they just like they choose to hate you they choose to be jealous of you and then they start hating on you be careful of the friends you make in the philippines be very very careful don't go and put yourself in the lion's den by friends that you're gonna make be careful and again when you're gonna be helping people in the philippines make sure that you're helping someone that will not turn back against you at the end because some people here they are very very crazy people here they don't even see all the help you've done for them like it's funny how human beings behave right you've helped this person a lot but this person will never see how good you've helped them the only thing they are looking about is you said this about me you said that about me all right so you guys make sure that you choose your friends wisely i've been here for four years i'm giving you a very good advice choose your friends wisely if not ah uh, you'll be in for a big soup and you end up being alone and crying so choose your friends wisely don't let people make you feel depressed because some kind of friends you meet here is just so kind of sad so be careful choose your friends wisely okay now the third point i'll be sharing is avoid confrontations now this has to do with filipinos filipinos hate confrontations okay like i've experienced this so many times and even to my teachers right they hate confrontation they are kind of like too soft and you know as nigerians the way we talk we are loud even when you go to confront them it's as if you're screaming especially when you're raising your voice that is a confrontation for them and they hate it when you shout because they think that you're angry they always want you to smile okay smile <laughs> 
because when you don't smile with them they feel like you are angry you are confronting them and you are shouting they really really hate it so please I try to avoid confrontations with them because we are coming from a different country and this is their country their own way of life is quite different from ours you guys cannot compare the Philippine people and us also so please try to avoid confrontation I can remember an incident of a teacher of ours I think she was so offended she couldn't even confront us and she had to go out to cry so that was her own way to like pour out her emotion so you guys please try avoid confrontation because Filipinos they don't like it at all like they don't like it Nigerians are very good with confrontation if you do anything a Nigerian will go to you and confront you you guys will fight exchange words shout that's Nigerians but it's different here Filipinos they don't like it so be careful now Fourthly, rejecting food. So when a Filipino gives you food, they hate it, right? They hate it when you kind of like say no. Because one thing I've noticed with them is that they love to share their food. Especially when there's festive period or someone is getting married for their place. In fact, they just try to be very kind. Recently, I got like... um a knock on my door and i opened so apparently in just front of the building there's some stores for rentage so some people just recently took it and they were like i think they sell food there or something so they came and everyone in the building they were like sharing food to them so when they knocked and i opened the door I just felt like maybe i wouldn't even like the filipino food that they would give to me and i didn't want to waste it but I saw the way they were about four or five there. So I just felt like if I had rejected the food, they would have felt bad. So I just collected it and I said, thank you so much. Yes. Yeah, so seriously, try not to reject food from them. They give it to you with their whole heart. They love to share, especially food. One thing that they are not stingy about with is food. So they love to share. Don't reject food. In as much as you wouldn't like the food or maybe you're not used to eating it, try to collect it and try to eat it, okay? Don't reject their food. Don't waste it when they give it to you. All right, so the last thing I'll be sharing now is explore the Philippines, you guys. I've said this thing countless times from my videos. Philippines is beautiful. If you come to the Philippines, you might just be familiar with a few cities, Manila, Cebu, Papanga, because I know Papanga is part of the metro cities and people really visit Papanga because of the life here yeah so explore the philippines there are a lot of beautiful places recently i traveled to locos not there and you guys that place was beautiful it was so nice even to the extent some filipinos left in the comment section saying they have never visited there even when this is their country they've never visited that city so you guys explore the philippines there's burakai there's um What's the name of this place? I used to see it. El Ni I can't remember the name, but I'm going to try to leave it on the screen. There are a lot of places to visit. Like, it's so, so, so beautiful here in the Philippines. So try your possible best to explore. Don't just go to Manila, Papanga, Cebu, just normal cities that everybody goes to. Go to places that are so relaxing. You're going to see beautiful nature. Make sure you explore. Don't say I didn't tell you this. Five essential things that you should not do in the Philippines, okay? Explore, have fun, get to see beautiful places so that by the time you're living here, you can think about the memories you've had or made. It's really fun to be honest. It's really, really nice. And like they say, it's more fun in the Philippines. So I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video. Do well to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video.